This video will walk you through a level production plan under scenarios with either no back orders or no ending inventory. Here's the data for our problem. The forecast for fudge for the next four months is 120 pounds, 160 pounds, 20 pounds, and 70 pounds. There are two requirements for this problem. Requirement A asks us for a recommended production rate if a level strategy is adopted with no back orders or stockouts, and then to determine what the ending inventory is for month four under this plan. Requirement B asks us to determine the level production rate with no ending inventory in month four. Note that this problem assumes no beginning inventory. So let's get started with requirement A. First of all, we need to determine what level to produce at. Now to ensure that there are no back orders or stockouts, this means we need to produce at the highest level of demand, which in this case is 160 pounds per month. Now that we have a level production quantity, we can then proceed to determine the inventory at the end of each period. With production planning problems, it helps to use tables to track production, demand, and ending inventory. In month one, the production is 160 pounds with demand of 120 pounds. This results in ending inventory calculated to be 40 and is based on the formula IT equals IT minus one plus PT minus DT, where IT is the ending inventory of the current period, IT minus one is the ending inventory from the prior period or the beginning inventory for the current period, and PT and DT are the production and demand for the current period respectively. We therefore calculate the ending inventory for month one to be zero beginning inventory plus 160 pounds produced minus 120 pounds sold to end up with 40 pounds or units in ending inventory. For month two, we produce 160 pounds and the demand is 160 pounds, so the ending inventory is 40 pounds. In month three, we produce 160 pounds of fudge and sell only 20, resulting in ending inventory of 180 pounds. That's 40 beginning plus 160 produced minus 20 sold. And then finally, in month four, we produce 160 pounds and sell 70 pounds, resulting in 270 units of ending inventory. This results in average inventory of 132.5 pounds, which is the sum of all the ending inventory values and then divided by four. Now we can move on to requirement B. Basically, to ensure we have no ending inventory by the end of month four, we would have to produce at the average of all demand over that period. So 160 for month one plus 160 month two plus 20 for month three and 70 plus month four divided by four months equals 92.5 pounds per month of level production. You're encouraged to use the same table as in requirement A to ensure that you can confirm that at the end of month four, the ending inventory is zero. Note that at this production volume, there will be back orders or stockouts in months one through three. As you can see, you can either have a plan that has no stockouts or no inventory, but not both. It looks like you can't have your fudge and eat it too, after all. 